We love to dance with each other. I think it's uh, more like a way to feel uh, young. When you dance, you can concentrate about other worlds. Worlds far from Denis Parfyanyov's and Tanya Sopit's home country of Ukraine, where the war is dragging on into a second year with no end in sight. In modern world, nobody expected that it can happen in this volume, in this power. That's perfect. So the five-time Ukrainian national ballroom champions left everything behind to start over in Delaware with help from Ken Richards, who owns the Blue Ballroom Dance Studio in Wilmington with wife Rosanna. So the war in Ukraine happened and there was an upswell of support. We did the normal things that a lot of people were doing, the bumper stickers, the signs in your yard. And my wife and I knew that we wanted to do more. So last spring, when the Biden administration rolled out Uniting for Ukraine, a pathway for Ukrainian citizens to come to the U.S., the couple jumped at the chance to sponsor someone. And we saw this as an opportunity to provide a better life, maybe, for someone. In addition, what we thought we would do is look for some professional dancers who we could also potentially provide a career to. Through friends of friends in the dance community, Ken and Rosanna connected with Dennis and Tanya. I sincerely call them our American family because they yes, support American us a parents. lot. American parents, right? They became our friends yeah. and uh, it's very nice to live with them and... Uh... We're having fun. And the ballroom dancers are earning income as instructors at the dance studio. We're teaching different group classes, we're doing private lessons, and we're doing our performances all around the area, and we're competing with our students, and it's a great uh, kind of job because uh, you're never bored of it. We're happy that people need us here, and they appreciate our level, our skills, our experience. While Dennis and Tanya want to stay, the Uniting for Ukraine program is set up like a visa with a two-year time limit, which for them runs out this September. Nobody wants to see them go. They don't want to go. And there's nowhere to go to. Dennis and Tanya want to settle in Delaware, but can't because their future is in limbo. It helps a lot to see happy people around you and you also became more happy. When you see people, then uh, they have no less worries about uh, like global worries, like a big something. We need to live, we need to build our lives, and we need to help our families uh, who are in Ukraine still. So that's why uh, we're trying to stay here and to do what we love.